Hello friends, this video we are going to see another one, typical section of solid problem. We can go to the question. A hexagonal prism, here, look, here it is given as hexagonal prism. This is very important, it is a prism, not a pyramid. Side of base 30 mm and axis 50 mm long, rest with its base on HP, such that one of its rectangular face is parallel to VP. So how, this is how it is resting on. A yeah, sectioning plane perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP cuts the prism at a distance of 15 mm from the axis. 15 mm from the axis means either nearer to the VP or away from the VP. That is also very important. Anyhow, we need to see the sectioning portion. So, we have to consider this is away from the VP. So, while seeing the uh, problem, you can say, analyze it. Draw the draw is top view and sectional front view and two shape of the section. So, we can go to the problem now. So, this is, here it is said, a rectangular face has to be shown. How the rectangular face has to be shown? If this is the prism means, this is the rectangular face. This is the rectangular face. This has to be parallel to VP. Look at here, this has to be parallel to VP means, the base, this edge has to be parallel here. This is 30 mm base edge. Now, we can draw the hex hexagon in this order. Now, we can draw about 50 mm of axis height, the solid like this. Next. Here it is said it is being section. This is the axis point. In this axis point, away 15 mm away. So from here you need to measure 15 mm. So in this problem, the 15 mm will be uh, okay. We can consider this as 10 mm. This is uh, 10 mm. So uh, we can modify the question because the paper size we cannot afford it. So yeah, we can modify this uh, from 10 mm. Here we can measure this is now. So away from here, the 10 mm we can measure and we can draw the line like this. And this portion has to be removed. So while seeing from this, you can see the section of the portion. Now we can find out this is the area which has been sectioned. So this area we can hatch it. Now we can draw a line like this and now we can find out this area. So this is our section of the portion. So, the answer will be very simple, but the assumptions are very important. So, by this, we can see that. So, we can start the problem. So, here, this is a hexagonal prism. So, first, we have to draw the XY line. So, already, we have a plan how the diagram will come. So, according to that, I am just planning my XY line. VP. HP. So now this is yeah hexagonal prism. So I am just drawing a parallel line to it. So this is side is 30 mm. Thirty mm of side. And for this, I am just fixing all my points. So I will fix my hexagon here. And axis height we fixed as 50 mm so that we can draw Also, we can draw, finish it like this. Here, I can give the name. The bottom phase will be A, B, C, D, E, F, solar within bracket. And the top phase will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6. And here I can name it as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, again E dash, then F dash. Here 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. So these are our points. Now the sectioning plane. Here it is told this is the axis point. From the axis 10 mm away. So here what we need to do, we have to measure the 10 mm here. This will be the 10 millimeter. For this 10 millimeter, I am just drawing a horizontal line. So this will be our cutting plane, sectioning plane. So here we can give the name. Here where and all it is crossing, this is 1. Already we have named as 1, one uh, so we, we cannot name it again here. This is P and this is Q. So we have named it as P and Q. So this is for the top we have named. What about the bottom? Actually here we can make it as a bottom. This is bottom and the top will be P, Q or S. What about here? So now just I am going to name it this. I'm going to find out the front view. So this point will be P dash and this point will be Q dash and this point will be R dash and this point will be S dash. So now we can pass this area. The complete area will be section. So that from the top view one portion will be removed. So this PQRS profile, we are going to find it in the true shape. Already this is a true shape. Already this is a true shape because the reference plane which is parallel to it. So this is already a true shape. So though it is a true shape, we can also draw it again. We can draw another one reference line, axillary reference line. So from here we can find out the incline uh, perpendicular lines. Here, this is the perpendicular line. By using the compass, we can measure it from here. The base here, this is P and this is Q. And here the length will be 50 mm. Already we have measured it. So this is 50 mm. And this is also 50 mm. So now we can complete it. Now I can hatch this also. This also I can hatch it. So this is R, yes. So this is our part. So here the dimensioning will be. So this part we can make the dimension. This is 30 mm it is given. And here this distance. It is 10. And here this is given as 50. 50 and this will be the true shape. So this is our diagram. So hence we got the hexagonal prism section and the true shape and the section the front view. Thank you.